Such a pleasure to meet you, Addie, and thank you yep. so much for taking the time to to meet us and tell you, you know, tell us your story. Really, just so thrilled to have been introduced to Opstal via, you know, our our favorite South African wine importer, Giles Thomas. Uh, so, please, if you would, um, just introduce yourself and a little bit about Opstal. Cool. So, um, my name is Addie Lowe. I'm the seventh generation uh, farmer or vintner or winemaker or uh, jack of all at uh, Opstal Estate, our family property, myself and my brother, uh, we're, the, we're the current seventh generation, but my dad, Stanley and my mom, Maria, uh, they're still involved in the business. They're, they're in, the, in the sunset years of, of their uh, working life. Uh, so they are um, slowly but surely stepping backwards uh, and uh, allowing ourselves, uh, myself and my brother, after building up a very strong foundation for, for the two of us to, to really thrive in. So we've got uh, about 40 families uh, living on the farm and off the farm. So uh, we, it's, a, it's a business where we have 70 people working in the business. And so they are all dependent. And, and a year like, like this year um, really illustrated that uh, to the maximum where we we were challenging times and people depending on the incomes um, and you know the quality of your 2019 vintage uh, Chenin Blanc became a bit um, re you know relative uh, in those times. Yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell me a little bit more about um, you know your efforts with the. You said you mentioned that you that you have all these 40 families living on the farm. So these are folks that are actually working in the vineyards or working in the winery. And a lot of them have been with you guys yes. for multi generations as well. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Are we? You know, I. Um, it, it's. It's a funny thing. I. I, I normally have. A, I've had an issue with this thing about you know, um, putting um, folks like that on a on a poster and 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 uh, bragging with it, so to speak, because. It doesn't feel like, you know, they, uh, it, it feels like they're part of the family. It feels like they're part of the, the business and the, and, and the terroir at the, at the end of the day. Uh, you know, kids that I grew up uh, playing soccer with um, at, at the age of five and six, they are now, you know, working with me in the winery. So when we, you know, label us, ourselves and our business as a family business, we, we don't only, you know, talk to them or mention the, the, the owning family. Uh, that's been here for many generations. We we talk about all the people that's 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 part of the family and that's been here for quite a while. Uh, in South Africa, that's a, it's a, it's a challenge because we've got you know as you you're well aware we've got a lot of socioeconomic uh, challenges and, and issues uh, and wrongs from the past that that needs to be that needs to be corrected. Um, and so it's it's something that 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 we that we. Um, don't want to rid, rid ourselves of. It's something that we want to embrace and we want to be part of the change and we want to be part of a better South Africa, a better community, a more integrated uh, and diverse community and business. And and I think, um, you know, we, it's, it's, it's at the core of a lot of our decisions as well. That's remarkable. Tell us about your little valley. It, it's called Slang Hook. Basically. Yes, yeah, that's, uh, that's a very good uh, first uh, go, uh, Sarah. It's uh, it's uh, uh, translated. It means snake's corner, and so it's a it's a it's a small valley within the Bredekloof wine region, wine growing region. Uh, it's we always say tongue in cheek. It's on the other side of the mountain. Um, you know the the most common wine regions, wine growing regions in South Africa is uh, Stellenbosch, Franschhoek, Paul, and Malmesbury, and they are all, I'd say. 70 to 90 kilometers radius from uh, from from Cape Town, um, but then when you go past Paul, you you go over through a mountain pass and through a tunnel, and you get to this Bredekloof wine region. The further you go inland, uh, the less you you have the Atlantic Ocean influence, where there's the cooling down effect of the sea breezes blowing in off the ocean off the coast. But what we have going for us is the is the the, um, 
the daylight hours that's less because of the sun coming up later behind the mountain on the east and setting much sooner behind the mountain on the west. Beautiful. So tell us about this beautiful wine we're tasting here today, right? So this is the, your Carl Everson, this is your sort of single vineyard, cream of the crop, Chenin Blanc, yeah. correct? Yes, Named yes, after yes, your great, yes. is it your great grandfather, Carl, correct? Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. And that, is that him? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, so uh, the 2018 vintage uh, was bottled in January 2019. So the approach for that one is um, very just gently bring the fruit into the winery and don't interfere that much. Minimalistic uh, intervention, um, uh, a very uh, natural, primitive uh, approach. Um, at the end of the day, we want to show our value. We want to show the Slanghoek terroir. We want to show Chenin Blanc from the Slanghoek and from Opstal. What we do have in South Africa is sunshine. It really is sunshine in a glass in the sense that it's it's much more, there's yellow fruit and there's pear and it's, you know, I see myself on an island surrounded by yellow fruit on the tropics. Um, I'm with you. But then also, I'm on an island surrounded by tropics. <laughs> it's a great little <laughs> escape through the glass to the sunshine. Yes, I love that. I tasted, as you can imagine, a lot of Chenin Blanc when we were curating the selection for this box. So I felt like a huge responsibility because I agree with you that Chenin Blanc truly is really like the flagship grape of brand South Africa. And so uh, yeah. this one really stood out to me. You know, I'm, so I, I, it's got so much depth of character and so many different layers. And I really think showcases the Chenin Blanc in this really premium way, which is that this is world-class white wine, right? Yeah. It can, you know, it has the complexity, it has the ageability, it has the structure um, of a wine that can age for a long time. And it's super delicious now, it, you know, only two years old, but I feel like this is definitely a wine. I would love to have a full case stashed away to sort of see how it evolves over a decade. Yeah. Okay, Addy, you are seventh generation of the Opstal family. So is your last name, your last name is not Opstal though? No, no, no. Opstal is actually uh, means uh, the homestead. Or it's normally, you would say, you know, each farm in the, um, in the days way back when, each farm would have an Opstal. So each farm would have an homestead. So Opstal means homestead. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Um, all right. I wanted to ask you, so you may or may not know, but one of the other wineries or winemakers that we're featuring is someone you know very well, uh, Tanache of Kamusha yes. Wine. And it sounds like you do a lot sort of to mentor up and coming, you know, folks that want to get into the business, which I admire yeah. and respect very yeah. much. So, what, what drew me to him was his humbleness, his hard working ethic, um, his, the, the fact that, he's, um, that he enjoys or appreciates um, you know, the beauties around him, family, nature. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, his uh, religion is very important for him. Um, and, and Tanashi, you know, we, we talk more, but well, let's try and Let's try and collaborate more. Let's try and make it more official. Let's try and involve um, individuals that that might bring uh, more to the to the table. And I think it's that's also very key to this to the whole Kamusha project. Is a lot of times people have you know thought it's easy to to start a wine business. It's easy oh, to yeah. go and buy some wine and, and bottle it under a new uh, brand or label, and, and there you go. Uh, we needed this brand and this business to be authentic, to be real. We don't see wine as as a as a drink. We, we it, there's still a stigma around that. Mm -hmm. And for for Tanasha as a as a Black African, um, he's got a huge role to play to make wine more accessible. And and he can be posh and snobbish about it, thinking that you know he's worked with some very smart uh, wine programs and at the test kitchen he ran probably the, the best wine program in South Africa yeah. um, so he, he can be snobbish about wine but he, he doesn't want to he, he wants you know to sell wine at at, at, uh, at a 
affordable prices as well, uh, because he wants uh, inclusivity, he wants to promote inclusivity, uh, he wants to promote the drinkability of wines. Well, I'm excited. I mean, obviously, it sounds like a perfect partnership. Lots of values and philosophies aligned, and obviously, yeah. access to incredible fruit and winemaking yep. ability. So, uh, I think it'll be really fun for everyone to try both of those side by side, uh, knowing yes. that they've got a little bit of shared DNA at the end of the day. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. Anything else that you would love to tell everybody before we say our goodbyes that you want? Um, maybe our, our drinkers to remember about Opstal or, or South Africa in general? Uh, you know, we, we are seen as a valley, as a region uh, where generosity and um, hospitality is, is key and at the core of all the families that live and work in this, in this valley. Um, and we would love to, to have people, uh, if they're not able to, to visit, um, physically um, to transport themselves to, to the Slangok Valley and to the southern point of Africa uh, to experience a, a sense of place um, many miles away. Uh, I think that's, that's you know, we, we, I, I'm, a, I'm a person of the world. I, I like traveling. I like meeting new people from new cultures and across languages. Um, but I, I've, I've learned to appreciate um, and really uh, love the place where I'm from. And um, funnily enough, that's uh, what Kumusha means as well, is your sense of place, your origin, your roots, and uh, your Kumusha can be everywhere. And uh, for me, my Kumusha, my home, my sense of place is, is the Slangok Valley. And if anyone uh, is ever lucky enough to, to visit South Africa, they should please ring me up oh, and, yeah. and visit the farm. Well, we, we will definitely be taking you up on that offer. You know, that's really the one of the beauties of, you know, what Vin Social is attempting to do at the end of the day. Like you said, whether you have the, the time, the means, the resources, whatever, to go to South Africa in person, amazing. I hope we all get the opportunity to do that. But hopefully, yeah. if not, we can take you there virtually through these conversations yes. and, and sort of access to the source via the virtual media, which is sort of a beautiful yeah. thing when you think about it. <laughs> it is. Uh, maybe yeah. this time next year, I'll be coming down to see you. Uh, I hope so, I truly do. And I really yeah, want to give you a heartfelt thank you for your time and candidness. And it's been such a pleasure getting to know you for a little bit. And obviously, thank you for putting such beautiful wine in our glass. Um, I think everyone's going to cool. love it. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. Thank Cheers. you so much for the time. Bye bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>